You may have been hearing a lot of numbers and statistics in the news recently related to breakthrough COVID-19 cases. Those are individuals who tested positive for the virus despite receiving the vaccine. And these numbers can be really confusing, even for us scientists. But I wanted to break down some of these statistics to show you that even though breakthrough cases can occur, it still shows that the vaccines are working. Now, a lot of different pieces needs to come together for us to end this pandemic. This includes better treatments for COVID-19, increased vaccination across the world, as well as continuing to distance and mask to stop the further spread of this virus. And an individual who has received a COVID-19 vaccine is extremely protected against the SARS-CoV-2 virus. However, that virus can continue to replicate in the community, especially in unvaccinated population. This can be individuals who have chosen not to be vaccinated or in individuals who are not yet eligible to be vaccinated, such as children. And when this continues to replicate, this means the amount of virus in the community increases, and that also could lead to more mutations. More virus, more mutations could lead to a breakthrough case for an individual who has been vaccinated. But even in these breakthrough cases, it is extremely rare that that individual will become sick. If we look at data since December 14, 2020, when the vaccines in the United States were first approved, in the unvaccinated group, there have been 1.5 million hospitalizations and 300,000 deaths. But in the vaccinated group, there have been 6,000 hospitalizations and 1.2,000 deaths, showing us that this number is extremely low. And when we look at the three vaccines that are approved in the United States, we see that none of them do have a 100% efficacy to stop COVID-19. And if we do the math, looking at 163 million individuals who are currently fully vaccinated, we would expect there to be around 11.7 million breakthrough cases. However, those breakthrough cases would have extremely mild symptoms and would be very rare for them to experience hospitalizations or death. But we can lower this number. We can do this by continuing to advocate for individuals who can't advocate for themselves, such as children, by protecting them through distancing and masking, as well as educating those in our community about being vaccinated to not only protect themselves, but also to stop any further mutations that could occur that could break through the protection of the vaccine and cause more individuals to become sick.